Neil, commiserations. Sum up your thoughts for us on an incredibly frustrating afternoon for you. Uh, it's, it's difficult because obviously I'm I'm really flat at the moment. I'm, I've never I'm so proud of my players today. I thought we played. You know, we didn't want to sit behind the ball and not make it exciting. We wanted to have a go. And like I say, really proud how we played. And you know, to get let down um, by officials, it's you know, roll on VAR. You know, whether I'll be too old to see VAR, but that's why you need VAR because you know, they know if you can't see offside from across with a flag, uh, from it's not even close. Um, you know, it's we work three weeks for this, and we get let down by decisions. You know, we felt that Morrison could quite easily have had a penalty in the first half. We thought he could have quite easily had a penalty in the second half. We thought it could have been a red card. We thought Ken Zaho was getting to the ball first. Um, so nothing, no major decisions went for us. And you know, for the linesmen, they don't realise what's at stake. I mean, if I was Burnley fan and Southampton and all these Brighton fans, they'd be absolutely loving it today. And you can't blame them really. But, um, it, you know, it's, we've had one, I've had one kick in the teeth after another this season, and the players have as well. Uh, but we've always bounced back. So, you know, I'll probably play the 23s on Wednesday at Man City and then get ready for Burnley. I've, you know, we've got some good games left. And you saw today, we're not going to lie down. Um, it's almost like not who you play, it's who you get to referee and who's going to have a flag in their hand nowadays is just as important. What on earth was going through your mind, therefore, when you stood out on the pitch in front of the officials at the end there? All the hard work we've done, all the hard work in the last three weeks, and it's none of our, it's none of our faults that an official can't see across the line at the most obvious offside that I've ever seen. You know, and it's, um, it's just, you just can't believe it. You know, like the Watford penalty just before half time a few weeks ago, one nil down. You know, could have been one each, and the ref apologises after the most certain penalty I've ever seen. Um, what goes through your mind? You don't know. Is it me? Or the, you know, is it payback time for me over the years? They might think, is let's get him out of the way. I don't honestly don't know, but um, you know, the best world, best league in the world, and probably the worst officials at the minute. I don't know what Mike Riley does with the alignment. Because if you can't see that clearly, there's something wrong with you, really. And he'll probably get another game next week and probably say sorry to me after the game. It, they don't understand what's at stake. You know, Clive White, who was the PFA guy, you hear, you know, he, uh, he's saying about, you know, you should, he's too, too passionate and all. Come on, you know, what's at stake? This is the game of football in England's Premier League. And, and when you see things like that, it does make you passionate. That's what we're in the bloody game for. You know, it shouldn't make mistakes like that at this level. You know, wh why am I working at 70 years of age to see things like that? I'm just so proud of the whole club today. I thought the fans were brilliant and I thought the team was. Neil, on the first goal, was that something that you'd been working on yeah. to try and push the players out to actually catch a team offside? Yeah, the lads have said that. Well, Gaffer, what do we do now? What do we do now? I mean... You know, we worked on that quite a lot, and it's all you know. It's, it's, we look good at set pieces, defending wise today. Um, but what do you do? I, I don't. I haven't. Not very often. I'm lost for words, is it really? Rudiger at the end there, definite red for you. I thought so. It could have been a red. You know, it could. I mean, you, you give a benefit of doubt, don't you? But I think Ken's getting to the ball beforehand. Um, but I mean, there were worse decisions, and I thought the Morrison's too. Challenges. I thought Rudiger on Morrison, 50 odd and 53 minutes was a penalty. I thought the first half one was, and he's in a great position, Craig. So, does he not want to give? Why does he not want to give him? Simple as that. It's, you know, like I say, the sooner that VAR comes in, especially for the smaller clubs. I think smaller clubs sometimes get a little bit punished, you know, for that. But and, and they do need help. You know, I know they'll say they genuinely didn't try and make a mistake, but they've got to be better than that. The linesman's got to be better than that. What have you said to your players after that? How proud I was. You know, they're distraught. The, you know, the heads are down, they've not said a word. Uh, they feel like they're being kicked in the teeth, which they are. And uh, all I've said is, you've got to regroup now. Um, like I say, Wednesday's a, like a, a plus game to get out of the way. And then we've got four of our remaining games, which are quite winnable. Um, and we've got to try our hardest, you know. To, to, to pick ourselves up again. We've been kicked that many times this year from one thing or another situations. I, I've never had a season like this, but I don't deserve uh, officials like that today. Uh, I don't think Craig, he just didn't give the major decision. I thought he had a decent game, really, but the, the linesman, there's no excuse for that. 
And of course, they get one goal. Our lads are deflated. They know it's offside. And then we, before you know where we are, we've lost another one. It's, it's uh, criminal, really. In the situation you're in, that was undeniably a big kick in the teeth. Are you concerned here and now that it will have a negative impact on the lads? That I don't know. That I don't know. I mean, if they, if they feel like they did look in the dressing room at the end, I think that's the, that's the end of the season. But how many times have we bounced back? You know, who thought we'd come back from one or two of the problems we've had all season? I can't, I can't fault the lads. I, I can only say how proud I am today that they've, they've put it all in, knowing that I think we should have won the game. I would have been disappointed with the draw, me, at, at 90 minutes, but, um, you know, not to be. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.